Last time we received around 69. Today we have received around 16. And uh, we are still in negotiation with others. We hope they will also come back. So those who are not here yet, I cannot give you the number, but today we have received around 16 of them. And when you, you hear from them, most of these people were forced, they were abducted. They did not even go there willingly. But now when they, they went there, they had no option, but they had to join. But because they were just forced, they said, this is the time they have to come back home. And uh, as a government, it's our responsibility that they have accepted to come back, they have put down their guns, we have to welcome them back and settle with their people. And we are going to take them through the process of resettlement. They need a bit of psychosocial support because this is a new life for them. They are, it's not been part of them. So we are going to take them through that process. That's why we have to settle them a bit here in Mijera to begin to prepare them, doing things of registration, identifying their people because at least some of them still know their families where they came from. We could still, whichever, whichever, whichever combatant we got, he was treated well. It is the same gesture which the two governments of Central African Republic and Uganda have done, have shown the world that they can get all their people and, and resettle them back home. And that's why we all came out to receive them to reassure them of our, our commitment to resettle them well. And um, tomorrow being the main function, I think all the main speeches will be given in, in, during that uh, function to receive them official home. Honorable Minister, as you are aware, in 2007 and 2008, Uganda government had peace talks with the Lord's Register number in Juba mediated by the government of South Sudan. The peace talks uh, was concluded, but Congo decided to go and fight, and he relocated to Garamba in Democratic Republic of Congo. So in 2009 up to 2012, Congo was operating in Central African Republic and Democratic Republic of Congo and part of South Sudan. So it was no longer a Uganda affair because the region was affected by LR activities. Honorable Minister, in 2013, African Union created uh, a force comprising from the four countries to start fighting LRA. So LRA was defeated in the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo and they relocated to Central African Republic and others even crossed to South Darfur in the Sudan.